Alright Josh here and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Buzz Ball Live season. Now today is sadly the last time we're going to be using this team. Oh, and I'm pretty good about that because I've had so much fun with this team. Like I've just really enjoyed playing with it. Um, Zinnius Rayquaz is definitely something I'm going to come back to in the future. Um, with a different supporting cast of course. Um, maybe something I want to try is like Assault Vest uh, Rayquaza. With like Icy Wind I think that would be quite good. Uh, let's have all true con squad. And we were 1663, which isn't too bad. And I'm knocking my desk. Brilliant. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good with finishing this team off, but we're going against Corpse. Oh, what an evil name! <laughs> Running the. Ooh, a Ooh. Um, a Lowland Persian could be a bit of a pain, actually. We've got the Necrozma. I'm not. I'm not, like, massively worried about the Necrozma. Amoongus is a bit of a pain as well, as always. Because <sighs> what's Amoongus running? <laughs> Cobra? Ocker? Payapa doesn't matter on my team, obviously. Um, I even played the other day on Showdown. I, I played. I went against a Focus Sash Amoongus. That was fun. <laughs> um, I, uh, like, usually against like Lele, I just, just automatically. Like, I'm just guessing it's Scarf. I just kind of automatically lead Finny and Cineral. Isn't Cineral that good here, though? I mean, I, Intimidate's kind of nice for the Kangaskhan. But I, I, I want Ray. Maybe I might lead, like, Ray, Finny. I'm going to bring Serena. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ray Zern? No, I want to lead Finny. I'm gonna lead Zernfinny. I keep changing. I'm gonna bring Serena. I'm just thinking Serena's nice switching. I feel like my opponent could potentially like something Amoongus and then switch the something into Tapu Lele to try and spore my Xerneas. Maybe. Let's just see. I haven't actually played with this team. Well, I recorded the past couple of episodes a little bit earlier and I've not really played with this team for like quite a few days. Okay, it's actually just Persian um, Xerneas. Well, I mean, I can just switch in Serena. My opponent could part in shot, which is the worst case scenario. Part in shot's the worst case scenario. And, like, if you part in shot into Amoongus, that would be kind of bad. I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. He might be a bit wary about faking out. I think he might just be parting shot. I think that's what I'd do in this situation, and then just go into Amoongus. Oh no, he does fake out. Okay, that's that's really nice for us, obviously. Geoman Siege! And my, oppo my opponent's is Xerneas is slower. That's really interesting. Unless it's a speed tag, because mine is slow. I think it's like... How many points in speed? Oh, it's like 28 EVs in speed or something. It's, it's really not a lot. 60? I can't remember exactly, but it was, it's not a lot at all. It's a Geomancy. Hmm. Um, the thing is, I kind of want to get Serena out. So I'm a bit worried about Mboongus. I don't have U turn, do I? Oh, this is where I want you turn. Okay, so we KO Persian. I think you, um... I think you protect uh, Xerneas here, so I'm just going to faint. Just to, like, not take any damage. And then let Persian go down and get free switch into Amoongus. That's what I would do. Yeah, okay, that's really nice. Unless... Unless Persians roll Zellyberry, which I doubt it. Oh, it might, could be Focus Ash. What else did my opponent have? I'm not really sure. Wait, well, it's not the berry. Is it Focus Ash? It actually is Focus Ash. So I'm going to get Pine Shotted, obviously. That's an interesting one. You don't really see that very often. But I, I, say, I suppose with, with Persian, it, it kind of works in this format. Okay, we're probably going to see Amoongus now. Oh, it's actually a Necrozma. 
Maybe they didn't bring Amoongus. I feel like you bring in Amoongus at this point, really. I'm going to power whip the Zen. And... Actually, not a lot. You know what I bring? Funny. I might just knock off the Necrozma and protect. Because I, do, I don't think maybe like a plus one Moon Blast is going to get Necrozma. Okay, that's absolutely fine. See how much Serena takes from this. <laughs> that's not very much at all. Actually, into the Serena, but I'm going to take this as well. <laughs> Let's go, Serena. <laughs> that AV is so clutch. Do you that's in Dazzle range? Okay, I mean, I'm going to Power Whip Xerneas. And I'm just going to Moon Blast the Necrozma. It might protect, and my opponent's Xerneas probably just Dazzles. But then I just get a free switch into Rayquaza. Which is what I want. Then I can Sword Stance E Speed. Shenanigans. I'm going to lose Serena. Serena took those attacks so well. Oh, no protect from the Necrozma. This should pick it up, really. Yeah, it does. Okay, bye-bye, Serena. Right. Um, like, who does my opponent bring in here? Persian again, or... <sighs> it's either Persian again, or the Lele. I'm going to bring in Rayquaza this time, because I'll... Just in, uh, it is Persian again, okay. I can just double protect this turn, really. I'm tripping over my wires. What else did my opponent have? Kangaskhan. What's the, who's the worst case scenario to have in the back? Probably, I, still, I still think it... I think you would have brought in Amoongus already, to be honest, dude, if, if you had it. Um... So, I'm just going to double protect. This could be a little bait and Persian just switches into Kangaskhan. Nope. So, I'm guessing it's probably the Lele then. Protect. Fake out. Xerneas, yep. And probably just Dazzle, yep. Uh, I mean, I feel pretty comfortable just Dazzling and Dragon Ascent in Xerneas. Like, I don't see a reason not to, really. I think Xerneas might protect. I love Xerneas so much. I love playing Xerneas. I, I really, really like playing Xerneas. Next week's team, um, I'm going to use something a bit different. It's probably not as solid as this, but uh, it's fun. But yeah, I love using Xerneas. Xerneas is so good. I hate it when people like slag people, like on Showdown, when people slag you off for using Xerneas. Like, mm, just press Geomancy and win, but it's not that, is it? Like, Everybody has like three answers to Xerneas on the team. It's, it's harder to play, if anything. But it's just so good fun. Okay, yeah, this is game. I mean, Rayquaza, I think Dragon Ascent could easily get the, uh, the Xerneas from this range. Dragon Ascent. And then we'll see what's in the back. I think it would have been worse if, the, if my opponent had a Moongus, but I don't, it doesn't seem like it, bro. It, they should have, it, like, if they were going to bring it, they should have part and shot it. Um, early on. Obviously that first turn fake out, bringing in Serena was nice. Serena living and getting that damage on the Cosmo was nice as well. AV coming absolutely clutch there. I do keep thinking, oh it is the Kangaskhan actually. Huh. <clears throat> oh you might have Sucker Punch. I mean I'm just going to double protect this turn again. Did I attack last turn? Yeah, I, I doesn't. Yeah, and then I could just extreme speed moon blast. Yeah, the last game. I mean, I thought maybe that turn they could have like baited me with the Persian fake out and just swapped into Kangaskhan and then get another fake, like get an actual fake out. That would have been a good play because um, it would have forced me to e speed with Ray. Um, but I'm really glad that I didn't see Lele <laughs> or Amoongus, especially Amoongus, obviously. Like. That, that just gives you so many problems. Like I said the other day, when I, when I faced a focus session Moongus on Battlesport, I, well, I won't ruin it because I've, I'm, you know, it's like teams I'm testing out to use on the channel, but like I uh, calc this Z move to Oko and Moongus so it wasn't a problem, and yeah, focus slash, I was like, oh, come on. How can you beat a Moongus? Um, let's have. That was quick. Finding opponents so quick today. 
What have we got for it, sir? Charizard! <laughs> it's, I'm guessing probably why. Oh, how I wish I had Kyogre at this point. Um, this is an interesting one. Got an Necrozma again, but this time just main. So that makes it a little bit trickier. Because I'm always wary of it carrying... Um, well, A, Sun Seal Strike, and B... I mean, Rayquaza is so important in this game. Like, really important. Very, very important. Ah, this is going to be a bit tricky to beat, actually. Like, I want Landorus, but... <laughs> if that's Charizard Y, that, you know, Heat Wave's just going to obliterate me. Who do I bring? Who do I bring? Cinnaro Finney's kind of safe. Let's go with that. Let's go for safe. If in doubt, play safe. I I, I always feel like Finney and Cinnaro is just like a really safe lead against Scarf Lily. Charizard's gonna be a pain though. I have to beat it with with Rayquaza. Um, Zinnis doesn't really do a ton to it, does it? Obviously resisted. But Dragon Ascent should get it. It's not really defensive. It could be Charizard X, you know. I, I mean, I'm just thinking it's Charizard Y. It might not be. Okay, it is a Lele lead, so that's that's uh, always nice to see. I'm just worried about that being Trick Room. Oh, look, guys. It's a Scarf Tappy Lele. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Shock. Everyone's running Scarf Lele. Actually, I prefer it when people run the same set and everything. It makes it a bit more predictable. Like, you can come up with a game plan, kind of. Okay, I want to Icy Wind, and I want to... Oh, what do I want to do? I mean, I can fake out the Necrozma. I'm sure about Groudon switching in. Actually, no, I'm not. Um, let's Icky Wind. Lele might switch out. Yeah, uh, into Groudon. Yep. Right, the question is now, um, do you, do you potentially trick room? I'm always so worried about that trick room play on the Cosmo. Although, right, okay, so Incineroar should probably be faster than Groudon after that Neg one. Unless it's like super fast. Oh, I doubt it. So I could probably safely U-turn the Necrozma and taunt it. Like I feel if anything you protect Groudon here. I want to scold the Groudon really, but I'm s I mean, does this look like a Trick Room team? I mean, I'm always worried about that Necrozma in Trick Room. Especially the, especially the Dusk Mane. Not really the Dawn Wings because you got, you need Earth Power, you need, obviously you need Fault Guys and you want Moon Guys being, that's the reason for running Dawn Wings. So I'm going to go for the taunt. And will you turn into Rayquaza? Okay. This should be a little bit of a nice chip, I guess. Not bad. It might not even be Ultra Necrozma, you know. It might just be regular Necrozma. Probably just going to see a press bridge from the brow on, to be honest. I thought it might protect, to be honest. <coughs> Show me Trick Room. Yep. Ouch, on Finny. That is a big ouch. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> okay, that's really nice. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna sword stance. Do I... Scold? No, I think I'm gonna... I want to, but I, I, I think I'm gonna switch into um, Incineroar because I'm scared of Lele coming back in and then threatening Rayquaza and I want the terrain for later so I can e-speed stuff at plus two. Incineroar! Can't believe we went for Trick Room. Yes! Finally got that right. I swear I've done that about 60 times and it's just never paid off. Okay, that should be... I reckon that's Lele. Yeah, it is Lele. Nice. 
Because now I can um, Precipice Blades probably. Now I'm just going to E. I'm going to switch into Finny, E speed the Lele, and Groudon's Precipice Blades, if it hits Finny, should just proc the Berry. Now it's at neg one. Because it just did up just slightly over 50%. At neutral, so oh, Grano Protect. Okay, this is so good. This is this is perfect, guys. The only problem is beating that Necrozma. It's a bit of a. It's going to be a bit of a pain to beat. Okay, let's just get this um, Lele out of here. Like I don't want to deal with it at all. I'm going to switch Finny back in, and I hope my opponent Precipice Blades procs the Berry. Finny's faster than Groudon. Scold the Groudon, or just taunt the Necrozma again. It could still be Ultra Necrozma. But now I'm at plus two. I'm feeling a bit bit more comfortable. Okay. I mean, this plus two E-speed should get Lele. I've done it before and it's always got it. This will be the time that this Lele has some book. Actually, I've never calped it. But I feel like it should. Oh yeah, that's gone. That's gone. Okay, please press, 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 press. Yes! Hit Finny! Yes! Now prop my berry! <laughs> yes! This is all going right. This is all going right. Just depends what we don't know. Obviously, we don't know what the last is yet, but um, this seems to be going to plan. Which is bad. I don't like things when it goes to plan. I'm tempted just to taunt the Necrozma again. I, I really. I mean, Charizard, Finny, or Incineroar could be in the back. I feel like Eola brought Incineroar in uh, already. Just going to drag and ascent the ground on. I'm just going to taunt again. I, I'm not risking the trick room. I, I could. I do want to scold. Groudon probably protects. Okay, then she switches in two. Oh, into Tappy Finny. Oh, well, that, that's, that's dead. That's so dead. Okay, I think Necrozma's probably attacking into Rayquaza then. If you've done that. I just don't want to risk Trick Room. I think you should probably attack here. Goes for it again though. That's fine by me. I mean, I do have to beat this Necrozma somehow. Um, I think Groudon probably protects. I'm still going to drag us in it anyway. And... I'm going to switch it to Incineroar. <clears throat> I think Necrozma probably just attacks Rayquaza. Oh, I probably just fought. I mean, that wasn't over, over. Because I still had to get rid of the Necrozma, and it was... <laughs> I mean... It was a bit. Of, it would have been a bit of a pain getting rid of it, um, but Incineroar could have done it. But he probably had Earth Power. Actually, we don't know the set. It might not have been Ultra Necros, but like, could have been purely physical. We we don't know. We don't know its set. It, to be honest, like if if it's Trick Room, like on that you want Sun Steel Strike and you want Photon Geyser. If you've got Trick Room, you either have to forego Protect. Uh, if you want, sorry, if for, if you've got Trick Room, you want Sun Steel Strike. You always want Photon Geyser. So if you want Earth Power and go mixed, you kind of have to sack off Protect or Photon Geyser or Sun Steel Strike. So I don't know. Obviously, they didn't think they could win it. So oh, that was nice. <clears throat> that definitely all went to plan. I'm so glad I um, taunted. Taunt on finish so good. Nobody really expects it, I guess. It's not really very common, but I think it's really good. I think ta Taunt is so, such an important move. Like, if you, obviously, like, if you're taking a team to attack a Taunt and you, like, really want to build a really, really solid team, like, Taunt is just, like, the best. At least on mo one Mon. I know things can run mental herb and stuff, but it's just so important for stuff like that that, you know, don't commonly carry that sort of item. That was good. I'm happy with how that went. Find someone, please. Every, every, it's been really fast. Nearly 1700 as well, which is also pretty nice. 
come on. Might just jump to the next game. Okay, we find our last opponent with his team. I'm so good about that. Um, Brunin, a classic. The immense turned on stack. Interesting that like like usually on this team, it, like at the beginning it was kind of a lot of Amoongus, but people have been swapping it for Stack Attacker. So obviously I do want to bring the lovely Lander to this game. Also Finny's nice. <coughs> Rayquaza's is nice. Xerneas is nice. Like if you're my opponent, you you bring Stack Attacker for sure. You bring Salamence for sure. I definitely want Finny. I'm just trying to think of a lead that I don't get wrecked by something like Xerneas Incineroar. Um, I guess Finny's pretty safe ish. Finny. I kind of want Incineroar, but I don't at the same time. Mm, maybe we could go like Finny. Lando. Oh, do I want Finny? Oh, I've decided I'm not bringing Finny. I think Double Intimidate's better. Uh, but I want Finny. Oh, no, I've, I've, I've done it now. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Oh, no. Maybe I need to think of a... I mean, maybe just Incineroar Xerneas is probably the best lead for that. I don't know. Let's just go with it. No Finny. Sorry, Finny. <clears throat> Honestly, this team, I love, I really enjoy this team so much. Like, I could I could sit and play with this team for a month. But obviously, with the channel, it's better to... I like to switch it up every couple of weeks, then you, you guys don't get bored of a single team. Okay, this is actually not too bad. Um, although I am worried about Haze, so we do have to consider that. Um, I mean, what I might do is just protect, U turn the Finny, get an Incineroar. We've got two Intimidates onto the Groudon. I'm just worried about Haze, you see. Then fake out the Finny. Geo. Moonblast. Like, if you're my opponent, like, you're gonna have stack. You've 100% you've brought a stack attacker. Um, so, you need to get rid of the Landra. So, I'm just gonna. I'll just protect this turn. I'm gonna take an Icy Wind. Oh, I don't. I definitely don't wanna get hazed. I'm gonna U turn the Finny. Go, get into Incineroar. Yeah, okay, that's nice. <laughs> Means we get the double protect, double Intimidate on Groudon. Also, that Groudon is faster than Xerneas. Which is not ideal. It might be special. Hmm. Oh, actually, I'm a bit worried. Let, let's see what Finny does. If Finny icy wins, that's fine. If it hazes, that's not fine. If it hazes, it means I kind of have to fake out Finny. It might haze to get rid of the ground on drops as well. Don't show me haze. Oh, it just icy wins. Okay. <coughs> Probably doesn't have face then. Probably. I say probably. I'm going to fake out Groudon because I know it's faster. And I don't know if it's special or not because, like, an eruption would. Oh, that would super hurt. Geomancy fake out Groudon? You could just bring in Stack Attacker, though. Like, swap out Groudon into Stack Attacker. Geomancy U turn? Actually, I'm going to do that. Now I could get Lando in. That'd be so good. Oh, it is Eruption. Oh, no, I should have faked out. Okay, I take that pretty well. Ish. Oh, I should have faked out Groudon. I, I even said it, but I thought I did, it just. Uh, is it physical? Is it special? I mean, when it's phys oh, when it's special, it's usually a bit faster. So I should have probably just gone for that. That was silly. I better get Lando in again. Which is kind of what I want. I bet it hazes now. Oh, for goodness' sake! I can't believe how badly that turn went. No, I just lose now. I think. Um, 
And I don't think that could have gone any worse. I don't think that could have gone any worse for me. Damn. Like, oh, no, like, <laughs> nothing worse could have happened there. Like, that was just the worst. I really expected Groudon just to switch into a stack. Okay, who do I bring in? Oh, I mean, it's rough, isn't it? I'm so weak to icy wind. Oh man, that was bad. That was super bad. I'm just gonna move last Affinity. I'll, I'll probably just lose uh, Zernius here. I'm just gonna protect as well. Oh dear, maybe I should make a hole, but I don't think it matters at this point. <sighs> that 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 turn couldn't have gone any worse. Like I, I with Haze, I just presumed they might have just done it the first turn. Um, Oh, which is bad. Yeah, I've been done here. Okay, well this isn't too bad because it means I can probably pick up the Finny with um with Dragon Ascent, which is what I want to do. Yep. Yep, there's Icy Wind. I mean, I, I could save Xerneas still, I guess. Maybe just getting a cheeky Moonblast later won't be t the worst thing ever, would it? Also, now I know this Groudon's special, it might have hidden power eyes. So I'd have to be careful of that. Let's swap back into Incineroar. And let's just get rid of this Finny. Oh no. And then we get fake out pressure. I should have faked out the. Well, to be honest. No, I should have faked out the Finny. I still should have done it. I just still have to turn one, it might not have haze, and it just went for Icy Wind instead. My bad. I mean, I could have just set up Geomancy on the first turn. Uh, in hindsight, you, it, it's always looking back, you, it's different, isn't it? It's, like, it's just it's just that mind game, it, does it have this move, does he have that move? You never know, some finnies don't have haze. I checked the stats, haze is actually like not that common, I think it was like, I can't remember, it. I can't remember exactly, but it certainly wasn't like, on most. Okay, we get rid of Finny. Groudon goes for... Worst case scenario, hidden power ice or earth power into Incineroar, which will probably KO me. <coughs> Bye, Finny. That's one pain gone. If it's hidden power ice, that's definitely the worst case scenario. So now I'm down to my focus slash. And, like, how am I going to beat the opposing Xerneas then? Flamethrower! Okay, into Incineroar, that's fine. That's an interesting one. I quite like that flamethrower actually because obviously eruption's good if you're special, but like overheats a bit. It's actually silent. Okay, I'm gonna fake out the summons. <sighs> Who's the last? I really feel like you. I don't think you've won to the one. It's, it's either Xerneas or Stack. Um, should we, we sort this dance? I think I've got to make like a, <sighs> a bit, like I have to go for like a big turn or something. Okay. F I'm, oh, well, I mean, it's not gonna have hidden power. If he's got flame for eruption, it's gonna have earth. It's gonna, and protect. It's gonna have earth power, isn't it? That's gonna be his last for sure. Okay, megas. Shock horror. <clears throat> Fake out. Earth power. To Incineroar. Bye bye, Incineroar. Now, who do we bring in? See, I could threaten the Groudon and Swords Dance again. <sighs> like, I'm, I'm gonna have to Swords Dance again if I'm gonna win this. Like, I've not really got a choice. Okay, think This isn't over. Right. 
I think I have to Z the Groudon and Sword Stance again. Salmon's either goes for Tailwind or they double the Landorus. That Groudon actually might be faster than my um, Landorus, but I think it's so threatened. Like, I'm just going to Z it and I'm going to Sword Stance again. I have to. Worst case scenario, you double Ray. I'd probably lose if I lose Ray. Yeah, okay, this is, this is fine. I think Salmon's is going for Tailwind. Yep. <laughs> Let's go, Ray. Come on. Right, but plus three. Plus three? Yeah, I've sword stance twice and I got intimidated once, I think. Is that right? <sighs> okay. I'm an extreme speed meant Earthquake. And then my opponent's last Pokemon is probably Xerneas. And it should go down to two extreme speeds. As long as I don't take damage on Salmons. But I'm probably going to take a flamethrower. That's not a bad bit of damage. <coughs> they did Tailwind, right? Yeah. Okay, I have to EQ. And I have to extreme speed the Salmons. Which I'm hoping gets it. I'm at plus three, right? I mean, you think it would get it, but Salmon's special, uh, physical defense is, you know, pretty decent. But people, you know, don't obviously run the investment in Salmon's really. Get it, please get it right. Ah, no, that's game. <sighs> I tried. <laughs> I tried. That's all I can say in it. Unless I can take this flamethrower. <sighs> nah, it's eruption. I mean, Ray lives. We tried, guys. We tried. That was the that was my only option. I, I had to pick up the KO on the Salmons. So obviously, it wasn't meant to be. Um. Nah, it's it's over, isn't it? Yeah, I just died to eruption. Not extreme speed the ground on I guess to try and negate the damage a bit, but I think it's over. You can just double attack yeah, just double attack. I mean I died to a hyper voice anyway, but still. Xerneas survives! <laughs> oh, we tried. I mean, uh yeah, I mean I had I had to go for that, like I didn't really have a choice. It's a shame it didn't knock it out. And we're going to see probably certainly this is my problem was last time. Obviously the worst turn was when I got hazed and erupted in the same turn. That was... This is the only downside to using like slow bulky Xerneas. Like when you face like a really fast crowd with eruption like... Like there's not really much I can do about that. Really. Apart from... Yeah like I was intimidated. I brought so many intimidators for it. Um... Like in hindsight, maybe Finny would have probably been better, but I didn't know, did I? So, it is what it is. Oh, no. Good try, Ray. I wish I... Okay, so plus three extreme speed does not chaos Mega Salmons. That's pretty interesting. I really thought it might just pick it up. Um, it depends if you run the, like, minus defense nature or minus special defense nature on Salmons. It really depends. Anyway, GG's to all my opponents. I'm GG to this team. I've had such a good time with this team. It's been really good fun. Um, like I said, I could use it for way longer, but we will change it up. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Good luck to any of you guys that are in Berlin this weekend playing. And good luck to all the players in Berlin. I'm going to be watching it straight after this. And yeah, cheers for watching. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all in a bit.